Aloha everybody, John with you. Welcome back to my channel. A little different video today. Um, if you've watched my videos over the years, you know that I pretty much, uh, most of the time, especially if I'm doing any sort of uh, Hawaiian or a tiki related video, I'm uh, almost always wearing a tiki necklace one of my kind of Hawaiian sort of exotic shirts. Um, I do wear them most of the time uh, when I'm out, whether, you know, at work or just out and about as much as possible uh, because I really love uh, tiki stuff and tiki necklaces and Hawaiian shirts. And I just think, um, you know, if you, if you want to see people wearing more of that kind of stuff, you have to do it yourself, right? I mean, you have to be part of the change you want to see. So I am. Uh, but today I thought I would do a necklace that shows you my tiki necklaces. I've been collecting them and sort of creating them for uh, many years uh, whenever I go on travels. Or of course here in Hawaii you'll find them. But then also when I go on travels and cruises in the Caribbean and South America and uh, both sides of the Pacific Islands, I've uh, you know been able to pick up some necklaces here and there that are tiki necklaces. What I usually do is just get the, the bare necklace, which is how they usually come, just by themselves, on a rope, and then uh, take that rope off, restring it with some different beads and uh, accoutrement or whatever that I, that I pick up at... Uh, thrift stores get necklaces at thrift stores that have I think cool beading tribal beading whatever that I'd like to that I think would work well on a tiki, ne tiki necklace so I'm not a expert or a crafter or a rebeater or anything but um, I do my best and I just have fun with it and let's take a look at my uh, collection thus far and when they are not in use my tiki necklaces live back here on this little, uh, whatever you call these things, necklace stand. So let's uh, just start off first with a look at some of the long necklaces and bolos that I have. This one, um, really nice tiki necklace on a long necklace there. Got this at a collector's expo. Uh, I believe all the rest of them are bolos. Here's one, obviously a mismatch, but uh, I like it nonetheless. It's gold and the bolo is silver, but that's okay. Here's one I'm assuming from New Zealand. I mean, I didn't get it there, but it says Moco New Zealand on the back, as you can see here. Another one that's most likely from New Zealand. Again, this one I just got at a collector's expo here. A lot of these necklaces come from collector's expo. In Honolulu that they have a few times a year. Here's one that I actually got at the International, well Duke's Lane right next to the International Marketplace and this is uh, definitely a case of like buyer beware. Now I knew what this was and I was looking at it. It's some sort of Japanese um, figure but uh, it's very cool right? I like it. Nice bolo. Very exotic. I asked the lady um, just to see what she would say, or maybe she actually knew what it was, and she was like, Hawaiian God, Hawaiian God. So, <laughs> you know, buyer beware, right? I like it. And I knew it wasn't a Hawaiian God when I got it. Then this last one, I probably need to clean this one up and also find a new, uh, rope for it. I have to watch some videos on how you really how you restring one of these because I don't really know but love it but yeah, it needs a new needs a new bolo tie. Okay those are my long tiki necklaces. So I'm just going to show you my bag of goodies here. What happens uh, usually with these necklaces is that I will buy them 
or find them very plain somewhere on my travels or at an expo or a thrift store or something. And uh, usually they're just on, you know, a piece of rope or string or whatever with nothing else. So I usually take them apart, take them off of that. And then I collect beads, different kind of like beads and things that are sort of exotic looking to me that I think would look cool with tiki necklaces. And I get all these necklaces at thrift stores or really cheap. You know, I don't spend money on it. Thrift stores, uh, collectors expos, whatever. And then I, t I take them apart um, to use the, the beads. I have to make sure the holes are big enough though, because I don't like, um, I don't like really tiny string. I mean, I like to get the thread or the rope or whatever large enough to, um, that I'm comfortable wearing it. Cause I'm going to put some beads and things on it. So it's got to be able to carry the weight and I don't want it to be some little tiny stringy thing. But yeah, like I said, I just go to wherever thrift stores, because I go thrifting a lot. You see kind of cool tribal necklaces or things with beads and whatever, but I think oh, that would look cool. So I'll get them for a buck or two and, uh, you know, take them apart so that I have the, the beads to work with. Oh, there's plenty more in here. In fact, here's one like this. I usually get them, they'll be like this, just on a rope, you know. So uh, then I get my own thread or whatever you call this stuff. You go to the little bead shop or sometimes a Walmart or something will have it um, and get this cording and restring them. So, uh, you know, I'm no expert. I don't know anything about beading. I don't know anything about it. Uh, I just have looked up on YouTube a couple of times when I needed to know how to make a certain knot to make something flat. And that's about the extent of my beading knowledge. So, you know, these aren't meant to be expert or anything. They're just, just my little exercise for fun. This one's from a collector's expo somewhere. Well, this one's kind of plain. I haven't really done anything to this one. I just, uh, I got it in Belize, actually, and it's a little hard to tell on here, but it's kind of interesting because it's it's like it's three-dimensional and sunken inside of this thing with some sort of resin over it. It doesn't really show up there, and I don't really know what it is. 6th of June, PAX, 25th of June, I have no idea. I just got it because I sort of liked it. This one I got, actually, on, uh, I believe it says on it, does it say? I don't know. Anyway, I got this in Tahiti somewhere. It has a little pearl glued on it and its shell. I went on a cruise through the South Pacific, Eastern South Pacific, um, year before last to uh, Tahiti, all, all the islands of French Polynesia, and up to the um, Marquesas and the Cook Islands. Aloha. Do you enjoy the exotic and romantic sounds of the islands? You can enjoy the music of my land anytime, night or day, on the online radio station Hawaiian Hi-Fi on Live365.com. Music from over 2,000 Hawaiian Vintage Vinyl Records. And it's free anytime. That's Hawaiian Hi Fi Radio Live365.com. The link is below in the description.
This one's kind of interesting. Um, when I got this metal piece, uh, it obviously had something that he's sitting around, like a drum or something it had in it, but it was missing. It was just this uh, the metal piece. So I thought, well, let me just stick something else in there and glue it in there that will look sort of like a drum or whatever. So it's sort of a little Tiki Man drumming. This is one, I got a whole bunch. I have several, about six of these from the same purchase uh, at an expo a long time ago. All wooden, some of them have little uh, emerald things in their eyes. And then I just restrung them. Here is another one. Oh yeah, this is the one from um, Orea Island, it says on it. It's just shell also, nothing special. But, um, you know, it's just cool to have it. I have to say, I was rather disappointed on that cruise through the South Pacific, through the French Polynesia, that there weren't more tiki things than what there were. There wasn't an awful lot, uh, as far as like souvenir carving uh, necklaces. There were a lot of actual tikis, but not that much for necklaces, because I don't have enough room to have a whole bunch of tikis, but I love to have the necklaces. This one I got at a collector's expo, and I have no idea what it is, but it's kind of big and it's kind of cool and kind of scary looking. Here's something, I got it in a bag of things at a collector's expo very inexpensively, but this is actually just plastic. It's a hay tiki from uh, the Maori New Zealand, which is supposed to be a fertility symbol and a, kind of like a baby, a fetus. Uh, but this is plastic, it's not any kind of stone, and it's uh, a souvenir from uh, Air New Zealand. <laughs> This one I bought in uh, on a cruise I went on last year. I don't know, it's so hard to keep track. Uh, we made an unscheduled stop in Paragas, Peru, and I was really happy we did because they had some cool stuff there, and I did buy this. Now, the guy said he carved these himself. I highly doubt that, but whatever makes you happy. Um, stone uh, kind of tiki faces, and of course I just added my beads to it. I think I got two things from him. I got another necklace in here somewhere from the same guy. This one's just plastic. I do wear these necklaces. You'll notice in a lot of my videos and I do wear them in real life like almost every day when I go out and wear Hawaiian shirts and tiki necklaces because I believe in the old Gandhi uh, saying, I think it's Gandhi that said it, you know, be the change you want to see in the world. Well, I know Oprah said it, but I don't think she was the first. Be the change you want to see in the world. If you want to see people wearing more Hawaiian clothes and tiki necklaces, then you got to be that person to do it. I love the eyes on this. This is a nice one too. This, I believe, was uh, Collector's Expo. So having um, shopped for these things quite all different places, Hawaii and other places, I will say that, you know, tikis, most of them are, I mean, some people are a little bit antsy about them because they might feel it's a, uh, religious symbol or a deity and that you know that's bad juju or whatever um, I'm not gonna stop you from it if that's your thing but I will tell you that not a hundred percent but most of the tikis that you see for sale or necklaces or carvings or whatever in any sort of tourist markets generally not a hundred percent of the time but generally they're really not any um, anybody's deities they're kind of made up images that sell you know because they look cool and people want them and whatever but they aren't 
or rather just, I mean, a lot of tiki's anyway. This one's very cool, right? Uh, deified ancestors or, you know, um, or deities, but usually not. They're usually not. And also, you can't believe what people selling them are telling you. <laughs> just tell you that in a market sort of situation also, because they will tell you what you want to hear. I'm just saying, they'll tell you what you want to hear. So, yeah. If I get one of these statues or one of these carvings, necklaces, whatever, it's because I just like the image, you know. I'm not putting any meaning into it. This one's cool. This came from the group that I got all at one time at Hawaii Collectors Expo several years, many years ago now. This also came from that collection. This is a some sort of resin or plastic. I think the necklaces are fun. Well, this one's not a tiki. I got this in a bag of stuff. <coughs> and I just said, oh, what the heck. I'll use it. You do get a lot of compliments or people inquiring about the necklaces, liking them or wanting to know where I got them or wanting to know what they are sometimes, if they're anything. This one is also uh, some type of plastic resin. Maybe I should be turning all of these around, I don't know. This one's not gold, I don't know what it is, but, well, whatever, but it's just kind of cool. I didn't do anything to it either because it is sort of a gold type necklace. It looks kind of cool just by itself. This one's not even a Tiki either, but this one I also got. I got this, uh, I think in, um, I want to say, Maya Riviera, Riviera Maya, somewhere in Mexico. It's a something. People keep telling me, I've had several people say, oh no, that's a real tooth, that's a real tooth, and they're like grabbing it and going, that's a real, and I'm like, it's not a real tooth, dude. It's like, it's, you know, it's plastic. And this one, I guess not really a tiki either, but I got this little thing in Fiji and then attached it on here. It's kind of old and worn, but I sort of like it. And this one here. Well, that's from a friend of mine, a gift. And then last but not least, uh, this is the other one I got in Paragas in uh, Peru on a ship where the sky, you know, claimed to have carved all of these. I doubt it. But it's very cool, I like it. I hope you enjoyed that look at my Tiki necklace collection. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more, just press that little uh, notification button. And don't forget to check out Hawaiian Hi-Fi Radio or Moody Mood Music if you'd like to hear some uh, nice music to relax to, a little different than what you might be used to listening to. You can check that out. Uh, have a good week, and we will talk to you later. Mm -hmm.